Yo, what is up, guys? This is Rizzy Bow. We are here with week four of the GPC. Today, we're going to be going up against the Uzi Gunner and the Bangalore Wash. We, of course, are the Phoenix Sunflores. And uh, today, I have a team built now. I don't have this team. Uh, I didn't spend too much time on this team as I do on other weeks just because I've had to build like five teams in like three days uh, this week because I was participating in the March Madness tournament which happened yesterday. This video is uploaded on Sunday and the March Madness happened yesterday. It was really really fun and I am actually kind of honored to be uh, invited as an all-star to it and it was amazing. I got to meet so many new people. I got to play against so many people that I've never dreamed of playing like uh, well you guys will see. I'm going to end up uploading all of the replays of the matches and it is going to be amazing. I'm really happy uh about that that was so much fun but um today we're gonna be going up against uzi so uh i had tom help me a lot on this team uh he helped me build this team uh, quite a bit so shout out to him i guess uh and uh if you guys want to skip to the actual battle there will be a uh there will be a uh what is it a time thing in the description so you can just go do that if you really really want but you know what i don't think you should do that because i think you should go and look at my sexy team that i have built for uzi okay and also this is actually the first time that i'm going to be recording my uh my team preview thing after the act match has already happened so i've already played uzi but i'm recording this after the fact that i've played him um this is the first time just because i've been really really busy i didn't have time to record a team builder earlier so that is that and uh yeah let me just read out our roster real quick so you guys know uh know what i could potentially be bringing so i got mega charizard x we got jirachi togekiss nidoking Selgo, rotomo alamomola snorlax scrafty right on torkoal and avalug so um my opponent's team, Uzi's team, uh, let me read it out as well. He has Megalopony, Mew, Nidoqueen, Suicune, Tangrowth, Tyranitar, Stoutland, Electabuzz, and Ditto. So he's a really, really scary team, and I'm actually completely terrified of his team because it's just it's really, really scary, and it was really, really difficult for me to build. Uh, and that's why another reason why Tom helped me a lot with this team. But... Um, the first, uh, the first mod that we decided to uh, build the team around was going to be Togekiss. Now, originally, I wanted to build around like a Rocky Helmet defensive Togekiss with Defog, so I get to have some hazard control. But we ended up deciding to go with Charty Berry. Charty Berry is the Rock Rock Resist Berry. So uh, if you want to try and revenge kill me with Tyranitar, he ain't gonna be able to do that, and I can lure him in and stuff like that, and I can Aura Sphere him, and then he will die. And it will be great for us because I don't want Tyranitar to be alive. Um, we got Air Slash for Stab and we got Nasty Plot and Roost. So Nasty Plot is just a really, really nice win condition versus team. He does not have... It, it just does really well versus team. And, you know, I have Aura Sphere for uh, the, uh, the Tyranitar. So that is really, really cool. Uh, my next mod is going to be the Aselgor. So Aselgor, this life for Aselgor can actually two-shot everything on his team. Besides, um, he can't two-shot uh, Nidoqueen even if he is uh, offensive. Uh, and if he's offensive, it'll do like 40% with like an energy ball. If he is defensive, it'll do like 20 to 30% and then he'll get some Black Sledge recovery. So it's really not going to be doing much. But uh, for if you want to try switching in on Nidoqueen, Nidoqueen on me, I can go for Spikes, which would be really, really cool. So yeah, we got uh we got that uh for uh for his team. Uh, so the thing is that I'm bringing spikes versus in this team. I I want hazards versus him, which is really really nice. Um, this thing is obviously super frail, so it gets one shot by most of his team, but uh, it's pretty much just meant to uh, hit hard and uh, get up spikes. So my next mod is going to be a choice a scarf Rotom Mo. Uh, we got trick. Uh, we got this thing just because it helps me check stuff like Suicune. You can even switch it on Suicune if he is just a Crocoon variant. I can trick it in case stuff goes bad. I can Leaf Storm it as well, and Volt Switch is just you know to get initiative. Uh, Nido Queen is uh I can't just spam Volt Switch versus this team because he does have Nido Queen and uh but Nido Queen is gonna be taking quite a big chunk from Leaf Storm and I also do have signal beam so I can weaken that tank rote that he has. So my next mod is Dragon Tail. So this is one of my this is my first phaser. So uh the the aim of this team is to phase uh phase him a lot and you know make sure that uh spikes do a lot of work to him and stuff. So uh yeah, I got a really really defensive uh 
Charizard right here. So this thing is meant, it, this thing can take two high jump kicks from Mega Lopunny. It also can take two, uh, two returns from a Life Orb. Uh, Stoutland, and also this thing can take two uh, two hits from a Life or not a Life or a Banded Stoutland, and also can easily eat up anything from Mega Lopunny even after rocks. So that is pretty pretty cool. Um, what else? I'm really really weak to Stoutland. This thing barely doesn't get to it KO'd, and I don't have leftovers to help me out. So that is kind of an issue. So this team is kind of weak to Stoutland, but everything on uh, my team can take at least one one return from Stoutland, except for a Selgore just straight up dies because it's a freaking a Selgore. Look at these stats. But um, yeah, I have a I have a really defensive uh, Mega Zara. Just uh, Dragon Tail is also there for Sweeten, so he can't try setting up on me and stuff like that. Um, Flare Blitz. Uh, this uh, this investment with uh, Flare Blitz means that Aromatisse cannot. Uh, I, I two shot uh, defensive aromatis no matter what investment you want to run. I two shot it, which is really really cool. And yeah, this is pretty much there to be like fat and stuff and do stuff, you know, pretty cool. But um, my next mod is Snorlax, and uh, this thing is also there because uh, I can phase out, you know, his team, and it can also phase out stuff like uh, Suicune if he does want to try setting up or doing his stuff with Suicune, what Suicune does. And um, I do have Chopperberry because uh, this helps me check his Mega Lopunny in case stuff goes bad. Uh, it also this also is my dedicated switch into Nidoqueen Queen just because I can eat up anything that Nidoqueen Queen wants to take. Uh, it wants to do to me even if he wants to go for Superpower. I do have the Chopperberry. Also, um, this thing can take hits from Tyrantar, and I do have uh, these three move slots. So Superpower. Uh, because it hits, uh, it, it takes out um, Mega Lopunny if you want to high jump kick me and not realize I have a Chopperberry. There's that Harry Slam is just there to just fire off a huge hit against Aromatisse. And Body Slam, I can just spam versus his team and also hits his Nitto Queen. If I paralyze that thing, that would be pretty cool. So I don't have any recovery this week, but it is a switch into most of his mods. It's pretty much there to uh, take hits from Mega Lopunny, or not to check Mega Lopunny and also take hits from Nitto Queen and then kind of just die. So. That's it with uh, Trump Voter this week. You know, the amazing nickname right there. I still love this nickname, guys. <laughs> it's really funny. But um, my next mon is going to be the Nitto King. So uh, with this investment right over here, I can take... Uh, I'm pretty sure I can take a uh, Choice Banded uh, Stoutland. Not no matter what, but uh, I needed the speed EVs to be able to uh, creep some Pokemon on his team. But I think with this investment, I can take... Uh, it's a really, really good chance that I can take uh, a choice ban of return from Statlin. I have enough... Uh, I have enough uh, speed to outspeed a modest max speed Nido Queen. Uh, this thing is also my rocker, which is which is a thing. It's not the best rocker, but it's kind of the only thing that I have. I didn't bring Jirachi this week because I couldn't think of a nice uh, a nice set for Jirachi. I was thinking Scarf, but then Scarf is not that good versus Seam. It's kind of nice, but it's not the best. Um, I could also... I was thinking about going special with like Grass Knot, but I need like a Life Orb to be able to two shot Suicune, so there's not really that. So I just didn't end up bringing Jirachi. He wasn't that good versus team. But uh, this thing, he doesn't really have a proper switch in, which is really, really nice. Um, so this thing can do a ton of work to his team. And uh, yeah, that is pretty, pretty cool. And I think that is it. So I hope you guys enjoy the team builder, and we'll just get right into the actual battle. All right, we are here with the actual battle against Uzi. So. Uh, just look at his team. This thing, he did bring the Mega Lopin. He did bring the Stoutland. That's very, very scary. Um, I do have a switch into Mega Lopin, as I said in the team, but like my Togus and my Mega Charizard X. Uh, he does have Mew. I did not expect a, uh, I didn't expect a, uh, a defensive Mew versus me. I really expected him to be offensive. Uh, so there's that, um, Suicune, just I expected kind of like a bulky combined or roar variant. Uh, Tyranitar is probably going to be either Scarf or Bandit, and then Nidoqueen, I'm really expect, I really expected him to bring an offensive variant. Um, or, but I could even see a defensive variant to take hits from, I guess, like a Selgore and some other stuff on my team. And then Statlin is just freaking scary. Choice Bandit just destroys my team. I don't even have Jirachi. Uh, I didn't even bring Jirachi this week as a switch in, so that is pretty, pretty scary. I do have stuff like Togus, which I think Togus takes two uh, choice banner returns. I don't remember exactly. I'm pretty sure I evaded it to do that. And also, Megazard X takes two Life Orb ones, so we're going to see whether he's Life Orb. And I really hope he was Life Orb in this match, but... um. We're going to see. So I'm going to lead off with my Nidoking because I really didn't want him to lead off with Nidoqueen. And then 
Uh, if he did lead off with no queen, I could have scared him out and I could have gone for my own rocks. Uh, I really didn't want him to get just rocks first turn. So I lead off with no king. If he did lead off with low queen, I knew I could just switch out into my toad kiss. I don't have the rocky helmet. Unfortunately, I changed it. And so I'm not gonna be able to punish him for just going for a fake out like that. And I'm gonna go for the air slash. I'm gonna get a crit on his no queen, which kind of sucks for him. And I'm now gonna double out into my nitto king because, um, I really, really thought he was gonna try getting up rocks versus me. And I wanted to be, uh... I wanted uh, to play kind of aggressively because he does not have a uh, ground resist on his team. So I can just fire off Earth Powers versus this team right over here. So that's why I went out into Nitto King. And now he's going to go on to his Mew. And I'm going to get a crit right here, which really, really matters. Just because he does not... Uh, he's going to bring in Stoutland to revenge kill me right over here. And uh, since I am at full health, he did not get any damage off on his uh, with his Mew. He is not going to be able to kill me with a return, and now I can take him out. And I'm not going to be able to take him out, but I can do a ton of damage to him with a sledge wave. So I'm just going to let Nido King go down. I knew he could take that one hit, so I decided uh, to just leave it in and uh, be able to get a ton of damage off on Stoutland. Because Stoutland is a huge threat to my team, and that is really, really nice that Stoutland is really, really weakened. So I'm now going to go out into my Megazard X and... Um, He's going to go for the return, uh, and right over here, I decided to go for Dragon Tail instead of Flare Blitz, because I really didn't want to take any extra recoil damage. Hindsight, I should have probably gone for Flare Blitz, but um, it was fine, and I thought even if he switched out, I got some nice chip damage off on something, so it would have been nice, but uh, unfortunately, that did not happen. I also kind of thought that since this turn of sand ended, I might have been able to outspeed his uh, Stoutland, but unfortunately, that was not the case. So, um, unfortunately that wasn't the case, uh, because I do not speed it. I thought I might have been able to outspeed it, but, um, I didn't. Which really sucked that a Dragon Tail missed, but, you know, it's fine. I'm not going to be able to go on to this thing because I can revenge kill him. And, uh, I'm just going to go for a Volt Switch, and that was, uh... That was not the best. Uh, I should have probably gone for a Leaf Storm because he did not have anything that wanted to take a Leaf Storm. Uh, so, in hindsight, that was not the best thing I could have done, um... I really played kind of badly with Rotomo, I think, in this match. Uh, I didn't go for the right moves at the right times. And um, I, I'm pausing this at really weird <laughs> moments. But um, he's going to get his rocks up. And he actually has Tox Spike. So that's kind of annoying, but not too too annoying because the Selgor doesn't really care about them because it's not going to be taking any hits either way and this thing has immunity so I don't really care this thing is above the ground this thing is above the ground so I don't really care about Toxic Bikes he's going to get two layers up and I'm going to take him out with a body slam so Nino Queen is down and uh, he's going to go out into his uh, Suicune right here and I went for Whirlwind I think yeah I did so not yeah he I since uh he went first he knows that I have whirlwind so I went for whirlwind right there and uh, I was phased out into my Selgor, which means that I can now start setting up spikes versus him I need two layers of spikes so that Stoutland cannot just oh so that Stoutland dies uh, which is what I wanted because I don't want Stoutland alive and uh, he's just gonna go over skull right here I really thought he'd go for roar right here just because uh, I this prevents me from getting up two layers of spikes But he allows me to get two layers of spikes up, which means that Stoutland is now dead, which is really really nice uh, now I can just go out into my Rotom Mo, and I should have clicked Leaf Storm. I don't know why I clicked Volt Switch again, because now this means that he can go out into his uh, Tyranitar, and he can... Uh, I, I'm forced to go for Volt Switch. I could have... If I was locked into Leaf Storm, I could have just killed him right here, but um, I wasn't. I could have gotten a kill, but I guess this would have... Yeah, I think I might have been able to uh, allow his Mega Lopunny in, and I don't think I had to switch into Mega Lopunny because uh, rocks are up so I guess this might have been better uh, but he does he's able to get a pursuit off on me and that does a ton of damage he is banded and that is pretty annoying so I know I can take any one hit from this thing especially because I do have the chopple berry and then I can kill it with a superpower so that's what I do I just no actually I don't go for superpower just yet I think I just go for a whirlwind yeah, I go for a whirlwind right here because I can face stuff out and I can get some chip damage. So I got nice some nice chip damage off on Suicune. And now I know I can take any one hit and then I go for Super Brawl right here. So his Tyranitar is going to die, which is really, really nice. And I'm just looking a really good position for my Togekiss to win this game. So I'm just going to let my uh, my Sternalize go down right here as it does. And I'm going to bring in my Togekiss because I know I can roost up on this thing. And then I can set up on Suicune. He could obviously go for Roar, but um, he could go for Roar. But the thing is, he doesn't want my... Uh, I didn't think he would because he doesn't want my... Uh, my Rotom cut to come in. So that is it. Um, and so uh, 
Yeah, I'm just going to be able to go for the Nazplot right here. He doesn't go for the Roar. He goes for the Skull. He does not get the Burn. Or does he get the Burn? No, he doesn't get the Burn. And now I can just go for the Air Slash. I flinch him. That is really nice. And now I just win the game with my Togekiss. So that is really, really good for me. Um... Togekiss came through. Togekiss is amazing. Nasty Plot Togekiss was beautiful. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I said that. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. We are doing pretty well in the league so far. We got two 5-0s. And then we got 5 0 by Bob, which was a really, really bad match, unfortunately. And uh, we got a 2-0 right here. So we're in a pretty good position. Um, if we can uh, not lose too many times, we have a good chance to make it a playoffs. Next week, uh, we have five more matches left. For this season and I'm really really excited to see what happens um, I was really really scared about Uzi and I'm really happy I won that match but um, there's a lot of hacks involved like uh, that crit on uh, Nidoqueen Queen and that crit on uh, that crit on Mew was a really really big deal so that kind of sucked but um, I hope you guys overall enjoyed and I hope to see you guys next time peace